Hey everybody, it's Gail, and this is Errata Hate episode 13, and I want to talk to you today about designer crochet. Uh, the thing that caught my eye, besides this beautiful cowl neck going on here on the cover, is that the there are 32 patterns, and all of them are sized uh, small to 5x where needed. Uh, there are some accessories that don't need plus size sizing, but all other patterns in this book are sized up to 5x. And going through the book, just to sort of give you a taste of what's out there, um, this is, whoops, hold on. This is the beginner cardi, which is done as a series of uh, strips that you then sew together. They specifically note that if you're used to making rectangular and square things but haven't made a garment, it's a good start. Um, hold on, I lost one of my pages. Can't believe they let me out, you know. Um, I love this two-way top, which looks super comfy, and there's some beautiful cabling on it. Um, I really like that blue. I might just do it in that blue if I get around to it. Oh, and it's Knit Picks. Awesome. Um, and then the cowl on the front is actually a sweater dress, which I think is just gorgeous. Um, and I can see that being really easily to size for anybody and, you know, just have a great, cool uh, chick piece to wear out. I am linking to the book page on Ravelry down in the basement so that you can go through and see all 32 designs. So if what I showed you didn't really tap your interest, you know, maybe click through and see if any of that does. Um, so I really like this book. I, like I said, I like the fact that it goes up to 5X, but I also like the fact that one of the things it seems to be really dedicated to is using lighter weight yarns to make sweaters. Uh, so you'll be working with a lot of super fine yarns, a lot of sport weight yarn, a lot of sock yarn. So like your one, twos, and threes. Um, and if you're looking to sort of start working with those kinds of yarns and learning the patience of working with those kind of yarns, which it is a practice in patience. Um, you know, I think there's a lot here that's engaging and interesting to look at. Uh, they also provide really clear stitch guides for the various stitch patterns. There are a few schematics if you're, if you're having to piece together the final product, um, they have, I'm very happy to say, they did a full stitch chart for a motif skirt, um, which is great. Uh, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of charts, as I've mentioned before, so no shock that I'm into that. But I also love that it includes cables, because I think until pretty recently, um, we didn't really talk about or make patterns for cables in crochet, even though it's, it's fairly simple. If you can do... If you can do front post and back post crochet, you can you can do cables with just a little bit of patience. Um, so yeah, I think it's a beautiful set of patterns. I think they can look good on anybody. Um, a lot of the yarns are easy to find. There's a lot of knit picks. There's some Lion Brand in here. I'm I'm not seeing, and I haven't seen uh, any yarns that I've never heard of. Um, and so I really like that they're also using yarns that are, are fairly easy to track down. Um, cause I remember, you know, back in the day when I first started crocheting again, about 15 years ago, I'd pick up a book and it would name a yarn and I had no idea what it was. Um, and it, it was, it was beautiful and it was expensive and, uh, I didn't have the understanding of yarn then that I do now to get that, like you pay out for good yarn. Um, but I, I think... Uh, sites like nitpicks and stuff have really changed the way that uh, people decide what's used in their products. Uh, but yeah, I think it's a great book. I think there's a lot of stuff here that can engage you, and this is the library copy, but I put it on my wish list for the next time I'm out crochet book shopping, so I can add it to my shelf, and I think you should add it to yours. So that is episode 13. I will see you guys again soon for episode 14.